2010 marks the 121st year of Army football, and no place documents that better than the Army Sports Hall of Fame located right here on the West Point campus. Right now, it's a very comfortable 54 degrees, but by game time, the Warriors could be playing in 30 degree weather or lower. Welcome to the campus of Notre Dame, where the popularity of Manti Teo is in full effect and where number five jerseys are tucked deep beneath students' hoodies. And perhaps the only football icon more well known these days is Touchdown Jesus. Welcome to Kapalama. We're on the campus of Kamehameha Schools and MC Squared. We're going to take on the Makahiki game. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> the pointy end goes in, apparently. Oh, this one feels good. This feels like the one. This feels like the one. Oh. <laughs> well, at least I got one. That's respectable. MC Squared taking part in a new tradition here, singing a classic baseball tune during the seventh inning stretch of the Rainbow Baseball game. Thank you so much for having us. Please feel free to sing along. Here they go when it's a shame. Because it's one, two, three strikes you're out. Mike Terry joins us now with your first sports look, Mike. That's right. It's not hard to understand why Scott Harding is the team's reigning MVP. He's the only player in the country that plays receiver, punter, and punt returner. Coach Norm Chow called him his secret weapon, but after last year, it's clear he's not a secret any longer. From Hawaii News Now, this is Your Sports with Mike Terry. Welcome back. If you were an official for the World Cup, you couldn't ask for a much better matchup. Argentina could boast having the best player in the world in Lionel Messi going up against Germany, arguably the top team in the world. Both starved for World Cup glory, long overdue. Moving along in the Bay, a history-making event. Bases loaded for Giants catcher Buster Posey. That's a grand slam. We've seen him do it before, but you got to pair it with what happened in the sixth inning. At the dish, pitcher Madison Bumgarner lets one rip. That's a grand slam. It's the first time that a pitcher and catcher have hit grand slams in the same game for the same team. Giants win 8-4. to four. Finally, check this out during an Arena League football game. A fan reaches for the ball on the sideline and pays the ultimate price going head-to-head -head or head to helmet rather with a wide receiver. <laughs> that player also happens to be former warrior Mike Washington who plays for Spokane. Oh. The fan loses his hat. Thankfully, his head wasn't attached to it. Washington also hauled in 11 catches oh. for 146 yards and two touchdowns. At first watch, I thought maybe he lost his toupee, but it was <laughs> indeed his hat. <laughs> he lost a little bit of dignity too. I <laughs> sure. He remembers it, yeah. Ouch, ouch. Right. Thanks so much, Mike. Welcome back. Over the years, Kahuku High School has built a foundation with its powerhouse football team, but it's also home to an athlete whose passion to cheer inspires everyone that she comes in contact with. Our Mike Cherry has her story. Deep in the heart of Kahuku, among a sea of voices, the Kahuku cheerleaders appear to be like any other squad. But if you listen real close, there's someone very special who stands out. Meet Hoku. She's not the tallest or the loudest. Okay, she's pretty loud. She's a bit of a ham, too. <laughs> He's embarrassing me. Hold on, I'm tired. Okay. <clears throat> Hoku being Hoku, it's a common theme around a young lady who wants to be anything but typical. As she entered high school, Hoku had a simple request. What was your initial response when she told you I want to be a cheerleader? Like, are you serious? <laughs> I thought it was just one of those spur of the moment things that she's, she's come by us with time after time. I want to do this, that, I want to do that. This is a great opportunity. Like, if I can take that and run with it, and she can be a part of us, and I think every, the community had great support behind us. Her parents insisted she go through the tryout process, and it's been a love affair ever since. My my favorite sports. Um, I think I, I love cheering and stuff, and the people going to, to cheer and stuff like that. I like it. She has it down. She knows the words. She knows the cheers. All right. Oh yeah. 
um, you tell her to do a jump, she knows exactly what to do. Like, you know, she always just sets the tone for us to be really like excited and happy to cheer and be there. Just to see that smile on her face day to day, walking in school, you know, watching her participate. You know, it, it, it just all comes together. It's, it's the spirit that lies within her. Hoku's had a fighting spirit all her life. Born with Down syndrome, she's beat the odds every day since. And I had a doctor <laughs> was telling me if I wanted to give her up. And it kind of upset me. I said, no way. Why was that important to not give up, give up on her? It's my child. I was blessed with her. They say sports can reveal character, and on a regular basis, Hoku reveals the character of those around her, starting with her father. Tim Pinto is not Hoku's biological dad, but admittedly, he was heading down a dark road in life until he met a girl that would alter that path. Hoku was the first person I met in this family, and she came running and, and jumped into my arms. You know, I look at, at it as uh, something that was meant to be. And uh, if it wasn't for her, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today. The same can be said by her extended family, her teammates. She has a really good heart, and she actually really cares for all of us, making sure we're okay. What makes Hoku special? Um, I'm sorry. Why does Hoku elicit that kind of emotion? because she's a really big part of our cheerleading family and she's there for all of us and she's like a sister to me. A senior in high school, this would be Hoku's final season cheering for the Red Raiders as a student. Can you imagine her not being a part of it? Oh no, I can't. I, I don't know that we would be, we would be a squad without Hoku there. And whether she's on the field or she's in the stands, she'll always be cheering and, and we'll be there. It's a promise Hoku intends to keep for one simple reason. Because I want to be a part of it. It's perfect. 